What's up, Will? How you doing, man? Good to see you, my friend. Just getting some of these notifications out on social media that I am live. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm very excited about this break because it's going to be Mega Baseball Mixer number six. Put all the products on screen. This is what's going to come in the Mega Mixer number six. 16 bucks a team, $4 a spot. We've got 23 spots left. Full pub layer. Awesome. All right, there we go. That's going to be the break. I guess I should have said, and we are live. <laughs> it's good to see you. I always like having you in here, Wills. Get uh, another uh, round. When's the next time you're going to be playing Jackbox Live? Love to get in on that again. It's a lot of fun. Patreon Pirate, what's up, my man? How's it going? Good to see you, dude. Turn this down a little bit. It's up pretty high. There we go. That's better. Music was a little bit loud. Turn it down to 20 decibels. That'll be better. But yeah, this uh, this break we still have quite a few spots in. So twenty three, I believe. And we're putting the pirates Monday and Tuesday is Jackbox. All right. So the pirates and the Marlins are together in this break. So would that mean there'd be 29 spots? Sounds about right. I do have some products that I bought. I'm gonna open here before this gets going. And I'm gonna add a product to this break for free. So if you're already in it, you're getting something for free. If you're not in it yet, then this might incentivize you to jump in. So I have one box that I will be adding of Topps uh, Update Series, a blaster box of Topps Update. So this is on top of everything that's in here. But that's not all. I'm adding something else to the break for free as well. So if you're not in yet and you want to get in, you're... Uh, enticed by maybe a gallery box i'm gonna add two more autos to this break we're gonna add an entire gallery box for free so the whole break is gonna be this for 16 bucks it's pretty decent price if you ask me for a pretty decent break There we go, 16 bucks gets you a spot in this break, $4 shipping. Anything over uh, 45 in my store is free shipping. So I've added some boxes to this. If you uh, are already in, then you're getting some free stuff. If you weren't in, then this might entice you to jump in. But I didn't add or up the price at all, so all for 16 bucks. But in the meantime, I'm going to open myself one of these boxes. Whoa. Keep hitting this thing, and I'm sorry. There we go. What's up, Johns? How you doing, man? We're just getting ready for the break and doing a little bit of a uh, preview. I added one of these boxes uh, to the break as well as a tops gallery so it's a pretty legit break this time because um, you're getting a lot of extras what's up funkin i just watched your video 
Got that basketball box. Didn't watch all of it. I was on the way to the store, so I only got to watch some of it. So these uh, blaster boxes are pretty good. I mean, you get quite a few cards in a blaster like this. I'm not really in need of any more of these tops update cards, so I'm just hoping to get some hits out of this. Parallels, autos, um, uh, patch cards, anything that I can. What's going on, Deerman? Here we've got, how many cards per pack are in this? 14 cards, that's pretty good per pack uh, card average. Hopefully we get a nice short print out of here. It's a Pete Alonzo rookie debut. Sucre, DJ LeMahieu, Kyle Burr, Trent Thornton, Southside Warriors. Look at that, Mike Mustaka rainbow foil. It's kind of cool. Mike Shar Shawarin, Shawarin, I assume. Carter Ke Kaiboom. I keep trying to say Keyboom because that's how I started pronouncing it, but it's Kaiboom. Carter Kaiboom. Chilling, chilling, John's Arcade. Very nice. Yeah, it's a uh, chill evening. Got off work. Very little going on tonight. It's kind of nice. Kevin Biggio, rookie. That's the rookie debut. So we're going to have a Lowry Garcia. Craig Kimbrell. Merrill Kelly. Let's see what else we can find in here. Jeff McNeil. We're going to get a Barry Larkin. That'll be, uh, what are those called? Some kind of uh, throwback card. I don't remember. It's an insert. There's a 150 stamp on the Andrew Miller. Pull that out. It's not technically a hit. Josh Naylor, but it's uh, amazing how much that stamp helps prices. Surprisingly. Drawing up a gift for Ricky Clark. Got to show some love for my hometown homie. Very nice, Funkin'. What's up, Joey? Good to see you, man. Just cracking into some cards real quick before we get into this break. Will Smith, rookie. Put that in my hit pile. Eloy Jimenez, that's going to be a rookie debut card. I wish it wasn't the rookie debut because it's worth a little more if it's not. Let's see. Josh Donaldson, 83 designs. Cool insert. Bryce Harper, I've got almost the whole set of these Bryce Harper inserts. All right. Vogelbach, Crawford, Rourke, and Real Muto. Hoping for some hits out of you. Neil Walker, Irvin Cole, Luke Weaver, Southside Warriors. It's not the gold version. I think I've pulled the gold version three times now. Alex Bregman, perennial all-stars. Uh, Greg Holland, Gary Sanchez. Really, it's going to give me commercials right now on this? For real? That irritates me. Richie Martin, Mike Ford, Hunley, Contreras, and George Springer. You should probably have a lot of those ones, Dearman. Those uh, Bryce Harpers, I sent you a bunch. I got pack stuck to my arm. <laughs> pack wrappers. Josh Fuentes, rookie for the Rockies. I like that one. Michael Chavez. Pull that card. That's nice. Gonzalez, Pence, Verlander, Steel City, Bashers, uh, Nolan Ryan. Look at that short print. That's awesome. Cool. A Nolan Ryan short print. And let's see. It's 55. Is that short print? No. What? I thought that was going to be short print. Oh, yeah, it is because this sets uh, 10 at the end. So that is short print 55. Whew, I was wondering. That's a cool Nolan Ryan. What's up, Paige? How you doing? Thank you. I, uh, I'm feeling beautiful today, so I appreciate you reinforcing it. Vladdy G, home run derby rookie. Going to have a Brendan Rodgers rookie for the Rockies and Josh Bell, Nick Senzel. There's a nice, another, another nice rookie. What's up, Isaac? Yeah, thanks. Thank goodness it is Friday. All right, all right. We're uh, almost done with this box. Nick Senzel, that's a rookie debut. Romeo Tapia is a rookie. Uh, Rocky rookie, I mean. Justice Sheffield. Sergio Romo. Kevin Pawecki. The Wade Boggs. 150 uh, greatest seasons. 150 year card. That's cool. 
Another Bryce Harper from the show. That's one of the Bryce Harpers I don't think I have yet, so that's kind of nice. Might fill out my Bryce Harper set on Topps Update, and then I can sell it. Merrifield and Tatis. Once again, rookie debut. How fast do those spots sell? Well, they haven't been selling that fast. Last time we were on, I was on for an hour and a half. I guess we sold, you know, say eight spots then. Uh, so that wasn't bad. <clears throat> it just depends. It could take a while. One one night it took us four hours to break. I would really like to not do a four-hour break again. <clears throat> but yeah, it all depends. But rookie over there, Austin Riley, 84 design. That's very cool. I haven't pulled that card yet. Definitely wanted to. Nice insert. Uh, Kaiboom, Puig, Josh Donaldson, Acuna, home run derby, Santana Domingo. Frank's Card Corner. Good to see you, man. All right, let's see what our manufactured patch is going to be this time. Manufactured relic. Congratulations, you got a Rogers Hornsby. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's an older player. Rogers Hornsby. Commemorative patch. Now, I wish it was game used, obviously. That'd be way cooler. But uh, this is what it's going to be like. You have one of these boxes that are going to be in the break that I'm adding in for free, like I said. What's up, Austin Farmer? It's good to see you. So let me show you what that break's going to look like again. This was the original break. We had these four boxes in it. Right here. And we are adding... A box of gallery with two autographs and a box of tops update series blaster so these are gonna be added on top price doesn't change it's just extra autos and extra cards on top of it so if you haven't gotten in yet maybe that'll help you decide $16 a spot um, $4 for shipping let me put the link in the chat Malone money mindset good to see you man been a, a long week so i'm glad that it's the weekend my sister's got a big birthday coming up this weekend 40 she's turning 40 so we're gonna make a huge stink out of it and uh try and have a nice little party for her. we usually don't do much for birthdays so we're gonna try and make this one a little bit a little bit special oh yeah forgot gotta get him in the background can't can't go without that picture in the back Paige thinks she has every Bryce Harper. <laughs> well, you'd be a very rich woman if that were true. Ooh. At least wealthy. It's good to be seen, Mindset. Appreciate it. Sup, tubers? JDLS, good to see you, man. Welcome. Jervis, nice to see you, my friend. Welcome as well. Thank you, Austin. I'll try and tell her if she's not in here. Uh, she's probably not tonight, but I'll try and tell her. Hey, I'll be 40 in two months. Ah, wow, two months. Two months younger than my sister. She's a choleric personality. She wants to have her own island called the Duchy of Cali. And that's where she can be a dictator. The dictator she's always wanted to be. Benevolent dictator, she likes to point out, but... I like to argue there's no such thing. Power goes to one's head. Thank you, Dearman. Appreciate that. Hi, Gunner. I'm gonna come up here. Why do you have to find a toy every time? Oh, you don't want to come up this time. All right. That's fair. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm going to try and throw her a little shindig. Have some fun. I don't want to get into too much because she doesn't know much about it. So. Not that it's a huge surprise, but I told her to keep that night open. So it's like, well, we obviously have plans. Where's Old Pub, Will? Oh, man, Austin, just enjoy the age you are, my friend. You know, it's kind of like asking, what's your favorite breath of air? I don't know. This one? The one I'm taking right now. Whichever breath of air gets me to the next one is my favorite. 
And that's the same thing with age. Whatever age I am is my favorite age, because <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> and if it'll get me to the next age, great. Oh, you have it in that set. I see. Did you open a bunch of those or something? Update series? Somehow I missed those. Probably the music volume would be low, but I doubt the mic volume would be all that low. Might be. I could be wrong about that. No Breath of Air is your favorite. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, man, whichever one gets me to the next one is the one I want. Four months from 41. Wow. I'm uh, the young end of the group then, I think. Oh no, Paige is. I think Paige is younger than me. And obviously Deerman's much, much younger than all of us. Didn't get a hold of that uh, Babe Ruth uh, uh, leaf for that Babe Ruth card yet. I did talk to them, but um, they told me what I needed to send them, and I didn't get that stuff to them, I guess, um, yet. I sent them pictures, but that's not enough. I guess they need like that proof of purchase and something else which i thought was ridiculous i don't know if it's the gain yeah it's probably the gain that was causing it to go down so much in volume is that better which one of these is better hello nope testing nope testing testing probably that one yeah man i can't wait for baseball to start too if we could just get that season underway that would be awesome as much as I love uh, off-season stuff, you know, you get to talk about possible trades and, you know, various things that could happen. Uh, I just like to get to playing already. Let's do it. Everybody, get this break sold out. 23 spots left, 16 bucks a spot. One team, $4. That's correct. A lot of, a lot of cool uh, autos in this one. We're going to have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guaranteed autos in this break. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait, four, nine, ten. Yeah, ten autos. Ten guaranteed autos. That's pretty good. I think. We did a break once with twelve autos, but um, I don't think we were guaranteed that. We were guaranteed less than that. We ended up hitting it. Kind of cool. Yeah, spring training is not far away at all. In fact, I think I can go down to Salt River Flats in February for Rocky's Fantasy Camp. camp. Um, it's either down... Yeah, I think they're going to do it down in Arizona again. I'd love to go to Rocky's Fantasy Camp. You get to go and actually play games against the pros. Hang out with them for like a day or two. I can't remember. But... <clears throat> awesome! I did add something JDLS. I added two things actually. So we only had this stuff in the break before. It was only these four boxes. And I've added these two, a Topps Gallery and a Topps Update Blaster. So we're gonna get two guaranteed autos out of this. And then uh, I was hoping for a nice uh, relic card out of here that wasn't the commemorative patch. I've opened quite a few of the commemorative ones. Um, unless, you know, if it's a numbered commemorative, that's fine, I'm cool with that too. What university do you go to, Austin? Interesting. Urban, good to see you, man. Sorry I missed you. I need to get somebody else on with me uh, one of these nights. I'm, maybe I should see if I could get somebody on. Well, I can't do it tonight. What I need to do is get a stream yard set up and do this. That'd be fun. Have my break with one of you guys on here. I used to live in Arizona, went to a bunch of spring training games when I was younger. Yeah, spring training uh, has just changed so much because now you can't get very close to the players like when you were young, when, when I was young, no way. Not nearly as close. I waited, I was one of the first ones in the stadium, waited for the Rockies. I sat there and waited behind 50 kids. I mean, didn't matter that I was the first one in. Like, they all poured in there, got autos. I mean, if you're my age, you have no chance of getting an auto. You're a fat white dude that's got like a Rockies hat on. They're like, get out of here. A little kid, though, 
go up to the front the little kids have like a backpack that their parents give them it's got balls and cards and bats in it and they're just yanking stuff out handing it to the guy he's signing it they're handing it back to their parents it's kind of messed up sam houston state home of ryan o'hearn oh i got a ryan o'hearn auto i just pulled urbanada yeah man i always like when urban shows up gives us a little of his canadian humor I also got uh, the products for my football break, finally. So we're ready on the football break. I'll show you what it's going to be. So we've got some packs here. We're going to have a score pack, illusions pack, and a Panini Phoenix pack. So we got three of those packs. We have a Donruss Mega Box. This has one autograph and one memorabilia card. We have a unparalleled from Panini. This has one autograph. Then we have a playoff box from Panini. This is going to have one autograph and one memorabilia card. And then we have a 2019 Tops Certified box with two autos and two memorabilia cards, which will be our hit box. That's going to be our football break. Um, I haven't done the value of the price on it yet because I just got the products this evening. So um, I'll let you know what the price is. But like once again, it's usually between 10 and 20 bucks on my breaks. I try to make it as cheap as possible. So Jason Madison, welcome. Good to see you. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Uh, that's all I know of it is just the intro. Maybe I need. If somebody cued me, I could, might might be able to sing the rest of it. Who knows? Went to Game One of the World Series. Malone says he went to Game One of the World Series. He has a really cool photo in his room, and I'll have to show you next time I'm live, dude. That's awesome. I'd love to go to the World Series, and I'm gonna try for sure. Especially if the Rockies get in, I will spend thousands to go to that. Ready for John Jabs mail tonight? Send him a triple uh, play card in a one touch to get him back for the one he sent me oh that's awesome man i didn't know jabs is he going live tonight or does he just do mail day recorded videos now which would make more sense not tonight we're not doing the football break we are going to be doing one next week though so we have 23 spots left in this baseball break and uh this baseball break is pretty good it's got 10 guaranteed autos in it so Football, is that some kind of sport or something? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You guys have some kind of crappy version of it in Canada. Um, the CFL, I don't know if you ever heard of it, but, you know. <laughs> Six likes, oh, thank you. Well, Paige, you're so kind. Yeah, I like, I like football breaks. It's fun to get into the football cards because there's a lot of value there. You know, a lot of those cards have value. There's a lot of them that don't. There's a lot of them that just don't pan out and aren't worth anything. But there's a lot that do have some value there. For real. Really? You can't hear me still? That's weird. Everybody else seems to... Uh, somebody else said the same thing. That they were having trouble hearing me. It's like when I... I think it's just when I step away from the mic like this, it's harder to hear. I'm trying. Bigger field in the CFL? What do you have, like four teams i mean you got what alberta calgary uh like red deer maybe <laughs> toronto uh what else where else would you have a team all right thanks Paige. i appreciate that i'm sorry i wish it it uh worked better for you because <laughs> it's kind of a ball at the back of your foot. I broke my heel once snowboarding, Austin. That's not fun at all. I cracked my heel in half. Yeah, it was bad. That was my second snowboarding accident, which actually wasn't as bad as the first one, but my second one, I cracked my heel and broke my shoulder on the same side of my body, so I couldn't use crutches. I had to use a wheelchair with just one arm and one leg that steered it. <laughs> it was a real pain in the butt. 
Ah, uh, not fun at all. CFL field is 10 yards longer, the ball is larger, and they have three downs. Wow. You know who I respect a lot is uh, rugby dudes. Those guys are no joke. Like, they, they're no joke. They do all this hitting and bashing each other with no pads. We do it in football with pads. They do it no pads. No, just hitting each other. Crazy. Well, too much for my taste almost. Urban, you're getting presents from Cause. Check that out. Tiger Cat's from Hamilton. Who's Tiger Cat? I don't even know who that is. Oh, let's. I think everybody's kind of like tapped going into Christmas, and that's why we've had so much. It's been so much slower on my breaks. Not nearly as, uh, not selling out nearly as quick as we used to, which is okay. I understand it's, com you know, it's uh, Christmas time. It's tough. Rugby is crazy, man, especially like you go down to Fiji. Those guys just, I mean, they don't care. They just nail each other. Just bam. It's crazy. Painful. It looks painful. But I still want to play it. I love playing football without pads. When you're in college, you play tackle football without pads, and you just tear through people. And I was kind of a short, stocky guy. And so I and I was fast and very athletic, actually. Um, and surprisingly, so, in fact, in a few sports, like I was uh, Defensive Player of the Year in baseball. I uh, took three of the four top uh uh, statistic rewards for soccer. Um, the only one that I didn't was speed. <laughs> I was fast, but I wasn't that fast. So I was a, you know, I was a chubby little guy that uh, when I got the ball as a running back, oh, I'd make you pay. We couldn't play tackle football ever unless we just played out on our own. But the school would sanction like flag football, so they actually had like a league for flag football. And finally, my last year, we won the A League uh, championship. And uh, it was me and this other guy as like a quarterback, and we'd kind of switch off and just run the option play a ton, and we just tore teams up. It was awesome. Funkin', you don't always have to think dirty. You know, you could think about other things. If you continue to, like, every time there's a sexual innuendo and you bring it up, then I'm, I start to wonder about you a little bit. You know, you're like, ah, little pervy dude over here. Cause is kind of the same way. If there's a sexual innuendo out on the table, they're going to mention it and make sure everybody knows. <laughs> Is Waddle a speed? Yeah, I wish. I couldn't do – I ran the the 40-yard dash in like five seconds, five point uh, – I don't know, 5.2 or 5.3, something like that. So it wasn't good. Um, I mean, it could have been even higher than that. It could have been like 5.6. So I wasn't awesome at all. I'll tell you that when it came to speed. But uh, like same thing with hockey. Like I always knew that I wasn't the most athletic person on the court. So I just had to be smarter than everybody else. So I perfected my shot, got it down so I could go five hole, go in the corners if I wanted, you know, I was at least decent at most sports. Baseball is better than, than most, but, uh, the other sports, I was always kind of an average guy. Some of those sports I wasn't very good at at all, but my buddy and I, we'd go and play tennis every Sunday morning. Completely hungover. It was brutal. Perverts, perverts, lil. <laughs> little, little perverts. What up, Ricky Clark? What's going on, man? Good to see you. Welcome. We're just uh, waiting to see if we're going to fill this thing up. We haven't sold any spots since we've been on, so we're still at uh, 23 spots, so... Uh, no movement yet, but striker has been doing breaks. we got a bunch of people doing breaks, and the holidays are here. So we may not fill it up tonight again, which is okay. Redeem your points yet. Yeah, I sent points out from a break that I did, and I needed to ask people if they actually got their points because they forgot they had that little code on them, and you could just take a picture and steal it. So no clue. Five hole is between the legs. <laughs> Thank you, Funkin. <laughs> of course. Of course. That's awesome. That's awesome, uh, Deerman. Hopefully I can pull you some fire. 
Saving them for something big. Yeah, I don't know how much. I mean, I haven't ever looked at like either Panini or Tops doesn't do points, but Panini points, like, what can you actually get? Like, how much are points really worth? 350 points? What can you actually get for 350? I need to go check their site. I never have. I'm assuming that's how they do it, though. Like, you can collect points, and then you can spend your points kind of like uh, airline miles or whatever. Just exchange them. It's like the reward system. It's not really a reward system, though, which is what I don't like. It's kind of a skeevy little thing that they put in points, and then they try to... Uh, you know, get you to come back and buy more stuff. It's like Dave and Buster's. You know, you have to have a little Dave and Buster's card. I can't just put a credit card into the machine or my own change. I got to go buy a Dave and Buster's card because they know I'm not going to spend every dime on it. And then I got to come back again because I got a dollar twenty-five left on the card, and I'm like, well, we might as well go to Dave and Buster's. And then I realize, really, I did all that for a dollar twenty-five? It's human thinking right there. It's ridiculous. 60 bucks buying retail packs as we were bored. Youth is wasted on idiots sometimes. Hey, man, if you pulled fire, it's not wasted. It's, see, it all depends on what you pull, right? So if you didn't pull fire, then you can go, oh, it was wasted. But if you pulled, like, a Tatis auto, you're going to go, oh, my gosh. It's all based on the outcome. I went to buy in, but PayPal won't go through on my phone when I'm in the States. Oh, man, that's brutal. Um, my site takes just credit cards too. It doesn't do just PayPal. So if you want to pay by just a credit card, the site takes, uh, cards. Yeah. The shipping's generally expensive to Canada. It's not terrible. I've been able to get stuff to Canada for like eight bucks before eight fifty or something like that, which is really good. Um, usually it's around 10 to 15, somewhere in that range, but uh, it just depends on where it's going in Canada. And I use ShipStation, which has brought the price down significantly. ShipStation's awesome. I really like it. Although my subscription, like my trial period ran out. So now I have to do like nine bucks a month for the subscription. You can only send 50 packages with that. Well, 50 packages. I have four breaks a month with maybe 11, 12 packages a break. So, yeah. That's about right. I bought two Gems of the Game boxes and my two Beckett 10s were the same card. Chris, Chris Davis opening day 2019. Purple Parallel. All right. Pulled a Machado rookie out of the Pinnacle. Miguel Andujar rookie. Machado rookie. I have one of those. I only have one Machado rookie, which I'm kind of surprised about. And I didn't even know I had it. I just went and found it. The last time I went on Panini, Web Redemption was pretty much sold out of anything good. Oh, that's too bad. So, like, their store has, like, a limited run of stuff. Obviously, it would... Especially if they're autoed or numbered. Yeah, on my site, sh shipping is 15 for Canada. So I have to do it. I said I do it as a set rate for Canada um, as $15. Um, and that's usually about where it comes out price-wise. I've had it go up to 16 before. So this is uh, a little bit of an average, but it covers all my bases. Yeah, if it ends up being cheaper than that, I'll throw a little extra card in there for you. Or a pack, an unopened, unopened pack that you can open yourself. But, uh, yeah, I had, I had to ship cards to Finland and that cost me like 40 bucks. I don't want to do that again. It actually wasn't that expensive, 40 bucks. But the guy I was talking to from Finland, he wanted to start his own channel and get it up and running and do a bunch of breaks and start a store with me and everything, but haven't heard from him in a while, so. Probably got everything up and running on his own, which is good. I'd prefer to go up on my own. Yeah, let me check out what Panini has there. Is it the rewards that it would be under? Oh, yeah. So there's the Panini points. So you can get cards for relatively decent prices. Well, 
Well, let me go through and find out which ones. J.P. Crawford's 250 points. Uh, and they can go up to 400. So you can get all the way down to 50 points. You can get an auto, but it's not great. Yeah, they don't see anything great in here so far. Yeah, this is a bummer. Come on, Panini, what are you doing? Thank you, Fall Creek Collectibles. Appreciate that, man. JJJ72. All right, cool. I'll make sure that I have you in. Uh, and I know who it is. Thanks so much for buying in, man. I appreciate that. Let's see how many spots we have left. Maybe this will tell me if I just go up. It still says 23. Yeah, I'll filter it from high to low. Yeah, we're down to 20 spots now. Alright, page number one. We're looking at Jose Abreu from Immaculate for 1,500 points. Wow. Jake Arietta. Steve Matz. Elite Extra Edition Autograph Rookies. 1500 really, for Steve Matz? Maybe I need to look into Steve Matz a little bit more. Woo! Danny Carroll. Cornelius Randolph. Yeah, I haven't even heard of half of these guys. Yeah, there's Tom Murphy. Heard of him, finally. It's nuts, dude. So even the high point ones are just not worth it. That's BS. You shipped a package to my Canada Addy, and I got it. It went to my satellite office. Just got it. went to my satellite office last month. <laughs> yeah, man, I just started shipping stuff to whatever address was coming through on the, the shipping thing. So if that's the address that's put in, that's where it goes. All right, we'll do Funkin'. Yeah, that'll be next week. I'll probably have it on this weekend. I mean, I just got the products today, so I'll put them on tonight. But gonna go, dude. You cannot. You can't bother me. All right, all right. Come up here, then. Come here. Come on up. What's the matter, bud? What's the matter? You just don't like that you're not getting enough attention. No, well, you need to chill, bud, because. Yeah, football is a little bit different. It's fun to break, though, because I uh, I always like looking for those big hits and football breaks. Oh, now you're going to come up here? Welcome. Thank you. Don't hit anywhere near my face, please. I don't like that. I will resend it again. Want to save you on shipping. <laughs> Well, I, it's like I didn't even think about it, you know, just going through shipping stuff and see what pops up. So I will change it to that correct address. I'll just remember this time. So it's not your fault, Urban. It's just laziness on my part. Yeah, but I know. He's such a little lush, man. He can't. Hey, what's up, the hobbyist? No, no lunch today. It is Lunch Breaks Live is the name of the show. So maybe I should take that off and be like Lunch Breaks After Dark because that's actually what we're doing tonight. In fact, I am going to do that. I won't make you guys watch me do all of my editing. It's not all my editing. I mean, it's like 10 seconds. Lunch breaks after dark. Dog just can't stop trying to dig for toys. He's obsessed. 
Good dog, but he's obsessed. All right, down to 20 spots in the break. So if you have any interest in getting in, um, I have my drink in hand finally. Oh, there you go. Urban finally got what he needed for the weekend to be complete. Yeah, the cuddler. The St. Louis snuggler. Or nuzzler. That's what I used to call him. 20 spots. Yeah. What are you drinking tonight, Urban? I was also able to get some more Pokemon while I was there at the store. And I'll open that tonight. It's not much, but uh, we haven't seen these in a while. And they came out uh, quite a long time ago. So if you haven't seen them, they are the new pin collection boxes from Hidden Fates. Technically not new. They've been out since September, I believe. But we're going to look for another Charizard in these suckers. So I got three more packs today. Or six more packs. See if we can get the Charizard Ultra Shiny. Also looking for any other possible uh, Ultra Shiny cards. If you don't have one of these box codes and you want one, here it is. These pin boxes are called pin boxes because they come with a little pin. It's going to be a Mewtwo pin. Forty Creek Whiskey. Forty Creek. I was just watching a murder confession the other day on YouTube in which a guy said that he was drinking Forty Creek. So be careful, buddy. Be careful. And pack number two is Mew, or box number two. I'm selling all of my cards. Just won a Cobb Cut Auto. If there was a Cut Auto left in any of my boxes, man, I would uh, encourage you to get into it. But you're not going to get a Cut Auto out of it. You know, a Cut Auto from Cobb would be so cool, though. That would be definitely on my top three cards list, is a Cut Auto of Ty Cobb. The other one was a Ty, uh, Cut Auto of Ted Williams, which, guess what? I pulled. Hey -o. And then uh, Babe Ruth Bat Knob or Auto would be sweet. I'd also take Lou Gehrig and a lot of the other big big names. So six packs is what we're gonna be working with tonight. Let's see what we can get. Ty Cobb Cut Auto. Good night. I would love a Ty Cobb Cut Auto. But it's gotta be expensive. I actually haven't even looked. How much that would cost. Probably not that bad, actually. You know, I mean, the Ted Williams was expensive, but I always forget that Pokemon I have to do a different way. Um, the Ted Williams was, you know, probably over $1,000 easily. I'm um, sure Ty Cobb would probably be somewhere in that range. We're going to start out with a Metal Energy. Metapod. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Pikachu, Clefairy, we have a Jigglypuff, a Caterpie, a Paris, Magnezone. That's going to be our shiny. That's very nice. Going to get a shiny out of it. Uh, we're I'm hoping to get shinies that I don't have. I should do an auction again. Yeah, you should, man. I like auctions. A lot, of, a lot of people say they don't like auctions on uh, YouTube, but I like them. If they're run well, uh, you got to have good moderators generally and uh, take into account the leg between the streamer and, and the people that are in it. Um, that's why I would generally do my auctions without a timer if I were you. I would just do my auctions and say, going once, going twice, you know, wait for people to start putting numbers in. Oops. There we go. Still have 20 spots left in the break. If you guys want a spot, please check it out. I'm going to go ahead and drop the link once again. There is the link for the break. If you want to get in, $16 a spot plus four shipping, 10 guaranteed autos in this break. Misty Determination, Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina Suggestion, Pettis, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, 
slow poke golem reverse hollow and golem regular rare pack number three first one went well back knocked i think i was in that one wasn't i ricky i thought i remember stopping by at that i thought it went well too i had no problems with it in fact i might have even got some stuff from that auction I had a couple packages come in and I didn't know who they were from. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, uh, Jigglypuff, Bill's Analysis Reverse. That's a lot of dimp. Still no Ultra Shiny. Yeah, I thought I thought I was in that one. But I think I probably did show the cards I got off of it. Classic cards. Got 99% of my cards in one auction. Wow. Cause is just getting rid of them. Well, I got three of your cards uh, ready to go out in my bulk submission. But I had to prune it down and it went under 50. So I'm waiting for three more cards um, to get it over 50 and send it. Geodude. Clefairy. Rockruff. Shiny. Very cool. And then we've got the Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno tag team card. Couldn't pull this card more this year if I wanted to. Couldn't pull it more if I tried. Pulled it way too many times. 20 spots. That's right. 20 spots. We uh, break when it sells out. So... I will take spots if we get down to five. I'll take the last five if I have to. But um, other than that, we gotta wait till it gets down there. Code card. Misty's determination. We have Pokemon Centilady, Metapod, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, a Charmander, a Psyduck. There's a Magnemite, so the Magnazone and Magnemite shiny right behind him. I already have the Magnemite, and I think I have the Magnazone also, but I could be wrong. I may not have Magnazone yet. Still trying to get the whole set of Ultra Shinies and Shinies. The Shiny Volt Collection is what they call it. Last Pack Magic. Code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Koga's Trap. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. We have a Chansey. Caterpie. Paris. A Psyduck. Charmander. We have a Magikarp. A Jinx. Reverse Hollow. And Brock's Training Holographic. So we didn't get any Ultra Shiny out of these boxes. Bought two more of them beyond this. Those are going into my sealed collection, though. So the rest of these, I can sleeve up. And I think maybe I have one that I didn't have before, which would be this Magnazone. I think I might have it. I might not. So we may have gotten one card that we needed for the set. Um, $30 worth of cards? I don't know. That probably wasn't worth it. I gotta stop buying these hidden fates. I'm, a, I'm just addicted. Oh, here's that. I'm addicted to trying to find more Charizards. Awful late lunchtime. That's absolutely right. I think I, I tried to change the name. Did it not change on there? I tried to say lunch breaks after dark. Although, technically, that still has the name lunch in it. So, you're not the first person to mention that tonight. Maybe I need to come up with a new after dark name. Still no fire breathing dragons. Fire breathing dragons, dude. What a... What a creepy dude fire breathing dragons i mean the need the need for those two words to come out of your mouth uh sequentially on a dating video it just it doesn't exist 25 perez what's up my dude welcome can you stay up on till midnight <laughs> i could uh but i'm sure as heck not going to are you kidding it's way too late exhausting I missed the 1% conversation. 
Yeah, I have to sell a lot of cards too. Um, I keep putting cards on eBay and selling them here and there, but um, I'm really just waiting for a lot of my cards to come back from PSA. And I, like I said, I have five orders into PSA and they're just stacking up there. They're not making any progress in the grading. So they're just bottlenecked right now or something and it's super irritating. Why did, Cause, why did Classic get so many of your cards? You're just trying to get rid of them or what? Yeah, I leave for a few and Pokemon is out. Yeah, dude, we did some Pokemon. Just opened a few few uh, boxes that I bought tonight, seeing if I could get any more for my set. So I think we might have pulled one. I like the Hi Mom myself. <laughs> is Jigglypuff another name for John Crook? Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one, Dig Harv. John Cruck. I mean, he's not huge. He's a big dude, though. Oh, I forgot I had more update here that I got from somebody else, and it was in another break. Oh, a long time ago. Holy cow, I forgot about that. I bought into a break. I can't remember. Some kid was doing breaks and wanted support, so I went over there and bought it, and then he didn't ship for, like, a month. <laughs> So I completely forgot about it, and then all of a sudden all these cards showed up, and I was like, oh yeah, I was in a break. Back when I still cared about Top's update. Now I've pulled every card from it, I'm just trying to see if I can get numbered cards, short prints, hits. I love playing with my Pokemons. Who wouldn't, dude? Who wouldn't? When I was younger, man, my friend had all these Pokemon action figures, and I wanted to collect all those, because those are so cool. He had a bag full of them, we'd go around and play with them. Ah, I wanted to collect those. But my mom, once again, was not a huge fan of them. And the cards were easier to hide than the little action figures were for some reason. So, oh, they were all Pete Alonzo. <laughs> That's funny. Starting a new Pete Alonzo PC. Very nice. You gotta, you know, yeah, you gotta really decide what you're gonna do as far as PCing because. I, that's the reason why I have to sell so many is because I want to collect everything. I really want to collect all these cool cards, and you just can't. You know, you got to you gotta turn around and flip some of them, or you're not going to have the money to continue collecting. Really unfortunate, but it's just the, the reality of it. You don't have to, Big Harv. You can play with your own Pokemon. Yeah, the football break. I might have to do this... Um, I might have to do this football break by like conference or division, AFC West. That's probably how I will have to end up doing it. NFC, AFC, NFC, all division breaks. Did you get a Pokeball, JDLS? Lucky. Gotta catch them all, except Krabby. You don't like Krabby, huh? I'm not even gonna go with the sexual innuendo. Ah, it's already out there, I guess. I just said it, so. <laughs> At least it didn't come from Funkin' this time. <laughs> there is gonna be some fire pulls, I hope. We have this, uh, oops, we have 10 guaranteed autos and we have some pretty cool boxes in it because we got Topps Gold Label and Topps Gold Label's legit ski. Plus we've got Topps Chrome, five autos, optic. And a Ty Cobb. Ty Cobb will be randomed off. Plus, we have two boxes that I added just for free. Just for you guys. So, this is all going to be a uh, Tops Update Series Blaster and a Tops Gallery. Let me pull this back, make it easier to see. I don't want to catch crabs either. 
I'll tell you that's for sure. I was in college. One of my friends, I guess she slept with a guy, and he left her a note that she had an STD and how to treat it. And that's all. He left her a note on her pillow. Was gone in the morning. Messed up. Messed up. And I went to a Christian college. Yeah. Christians are uh, just as schemy as everybody else. Um, but they're just at least trying to make their lives better. I'm missing a lot of my family tonight. They're not in. I don't know where they're off to. Which is, once again, okay. Can I pick my team if we do? Nope. Sorry, dude. It's all random teams. Actually, this is a draft break, so you might have the chance of getting your team because the draft is um, gives you a pretty good chance. You know, I bet you nobody will take the Phillies. So you probably have a pretty good chance of getting your, your Phillies in a draft break. Yeah, if you didn't know, this was a draft break, not a random team break. So, Baylor University in Waco, Texas is a Christian university, and some unlawful stuff happens over there. Yeah, you know, it's funny how, like, they'll point at the, like, let's talk about the Catholic Church. They'll point at the Catholic Church as having a real pedophilia problem, which is true. I mean, they have 60 priests, I think, that have been accused or found guilty. So, they have somewhat of a problem, but... The public school system in America has about 40,000 arrested every year. 40,000 teachers. That's insane. That's insane. I mean, that's insane. 40,000 incidents? That's a problem. I do have some more holiday boxes too that I might have to add a little bit later to a break. We haven't opened one of these Thai cop card cards in a while, so I was hoping we could open one this week. I didn't open one last week, but I didn't really need to open uh, any more since we already got the hit. John's Arcade was the one who got that hit. No, school isn't safe. Take your kids and put them in private school or homeschool them if you can. Do whatever you can to protect your kids. They're your most valuable asset. Don't have the state educate them. Baylor University in Waco, Texas. Christian University. Oh, we already talked about that one. My mom's Catholic and I don't believe in Catholicism. Irony? I think so. Eh. That's pretty standard. I think most people that hate religion hate it because they're mad at it for some reason. Usually their parents' upbringing or something that the church or some religion did to them when they were young. It's usually some uh, animosity that they have towards the church. And that's why they don't go back. And that's why I generally don't believe in true atheists, because, I mean, something's your god. Like, you're in society, right? And you're following the rules of society. If you're god, then why do you follow society's rules? You know, why are you a lawful person? So. But that's just me. <laughs> Where's any Chili's card autographs? And as I need those boxes, like, series of not what is the most common uh, team that gets hits autographs that was a rough sentence to go through Phillies cards autos in any of these boxes it could be who knows yes there, there are definitely in the set yeah what do teams do I mostly pull autographs from uh it's it really is all over the place at tops chrome you just have no clue I've pulled a lot of rookie autos, Keston Heroes, uh, pull a lot of Danny Jansons, you pull a lot of Blue Jays, pull a lot of Blue Jays and a lot of uh, Athletics autographs, a lot of Orioles autos, yeah. We are talking church? What are you, were you talking church? What do you mean you're talking, oh yeah, we're ta are we talking church? Oh, my sister loves to get into the church conversations. Did you call? I didn't even know. I got the phone on on uh, Do Not Disturb, so I didn't even pay attention. You did try and call. He pulls Tatis for himself. Look, Joey, I got to pull some stuff for myself, too. At least I've pulled fire for people on this channel, though. A lot of fire. 
I almost went to a small Christian college to do track, but uh, did my visit the day after partying really hard the night before Friends of University in the next uh, in the town next door. My graduation from college, man, I was I was hanging hard. That was rough. This uh, CEO of Make a Wish Foundation came and gave a speech, and I was ugh, felt awful. Oh, funeral. Okay. I've had, you know, I, I pulled the Tatis for myself, but that's probably the best thing I've pulled for myself. Um, I think that, or besides the Charizard cards, but I think most of my good high-end cards have come from breaks I've bought into. Like, the majority of most of my, my high-end collection has come from breaks I bought into. There's been a few that I've pulled myself that are pretty cool. One of one, Carlton Fisk printing plate. That was sweet. Autograph printing plate. Um... Oh, it was an athletic visit, too? Yeah, that doesn't go well at all. Mine wasn't athletic. Nope. But it was 7 a.m., and I was spinning so bad in the in the, the little classroom that we're in, an amphitheater classroom. I had to go to the bathroom and throw up. It was terrible. Happy wife, happy life. That's exactly right, JDLS. I didn't have a happy wife, so now I have a happy life, but I don't have a, a wife. So. Cut auto from Jabs is awesome. I still haven't received it. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's uh, waiting for me to send an address because I went and looked at the PayPal transaction today. I couldn't see an address on there, so I emailed him. But he's he usually takes like a month to get the stuff shipped out. So I'm really excited to see it, though, because I'd like to get it sent into PSA to get it graded. Because the value is going to go, I think, significantly up from grading it. Like, I believe if I get a PSA 10 on this card that it will sell for over $2,000 easily. I'm not sure I would sell it, but you know, if you need money and you're in a pinch, sell a Ted Williams card. You'd have to, I guess. All right, see you, cause have a good one, man. I'll get back to your emails later. I was a little bit busier uh, today, so I didn't didn't follow up with you, but uh, I will later. Oh, I have. Yeah, I'm much happier now than I was. Look, marriage is it's great. There's good. There's great parts about it. It wasn't, you know, mine didn't work out, but I don't. I'm not sour on marriage. I'll get married again. Yeah, just, uh, you know, it was my own fault. Once I got in a minor car accident, riding with a friend of mine, went to class, told my professor what happened. He let me leave class on test day, and I went to my friend's place and drank. <laughs> oh, dude, I, yeah. I have way too many stories from college. I, have, I used to throw, like, the majority of the parties for like one or two years in my college because it's a christian college right so there's not a ton of people that are partying so i'd be the one throwing the parties generally and one time i threw a party but you can't i was a dorm student and you can't go and stay anywhere in the town like with a townie like with somebody that's from the town you have to check off campus to go more than 50 miles away the reason why is because they don't want you partying it's a christian college they don't want you partying in lincoln nebraska so more than 50 miles away puts you in the boonie so they think that's the way we'll prevent this. Well, I said, all right, I'm just going to go camping. So I said I was going camping more than 50 miles away. That was my checkoff slip. They said, great. I went over to my buddy's house, threw a party over there. So I told everybody my plan, and all the people that checked off, they checked off to go camping with me. I was like, come up with your own plan, idiots. So the dean calls me in the next day, and he's like, yeah, you threw this party. We know there's all these people who said they were camping with you. And I was like, well... I was camping. I don't know what to tell you. He goes, no, you weren't. You threw a party. And I just stuck to my story. No, I was camping. And they just wanted me to crack because they didn't have really any evidence, but they knew they could well, try and get me to to uh, incriminate myself. Finally, I just told them, look, the only reason you're asking me questions is because you don't know. So see you later. And didn't get in any trouble for that, but I'll tell you, I was under a microscope for the rest of the year. It was ridiculous. They were not happy. And there were like 10 other people I think that got like actually suspended from school for that. Or had to do AA classes or something. It was crazy. It's funny, if you get caught drinking in a Christian college, they, they probably won't kick you out, but you will you will attend AA and counseling and stuff and <laughs> try to reform your behavior. Even if you're over 21, they don't care. Not having it at their college. Which is okay. Every college has the right to set their own standards. 
But I might not be sending my kids there, I'll tell you that. My kid's 21 and he wants to drink. I don't have any kids, and Gunner's never making it to 21, so I don't have to worry about this. Irrelevant. All right, let's do a spot check. I'll go ahead and post the link once again, see if we can continue making progress on this. We're at 19 spots now, so we have 19 spots left. So likely at this pace, we're not gonna break tonight, but we will break when it fills. So we'll go for a little bit more tonight and see where we get. Oh no, sorry, I just unplugged my webcam. Plug it back in here. I miss getting wasted. Yeah, that's what college was for me, and it was a huge bummer. I could have done so much better in college if I would have just really focused on studying, maybe gotten a professional degree, like gone to med school. or That's what I wanted to do. I started college for anesthesiology, and then uh, I realized it was way too hard and switched over to business. Once you get C uh, in chemistry twice, you're kind of like, all right, <laughs> Cs don't get medical degrees they get other degrees but not medical degrees not very easily anyways you're gonna have to know somebody and then you know you you could there's a lot of people that get into these these colleges like yale harvard these big universities uh off the backs of their parents you know who their parents know um who their parents have donated to it's just crony capitalism my package from Mega, Mega Baseball Mixer number five just arrived and is waiting for me at home. Sweet. I have one more package to send out of that still. Um, I have the White Sox for super short print card breaks, but I don't remember what his... Oh, no. I figured I figured it out, actually. I should I should send that then. I will do that. I'll do that tonight. I'll, I'll put it up. Breakfast, eggs, coffee in the morning. Yes, and breakfast. I plan on being there. I will be there to do a.m. breakfast, yes. I'll see you at 8.30. American Pie movies lie? Never. Never. <laughs> Got a spot. Can't wait for it to fill. Awesome. Thanks, Wills. I can't wait for it to fill either. This is a cool break. I just like that Topps Gold Label so much. I should have bought more Topps Gold Label. It seems so small. It is the smallest box. What are they, 36 cards inside or something? I think there's 36. 33 cards. There's 33 cards, and you're guaranteed one framed, gold-framed auto. Not actually gold. It would be way cooler if it actually was 24 karat gold. Now, I went and watched a box of Topps Transcendent be open today. Seen Topps Transcendent? I mean, it is insane. Topps Transcendent was $27,000, I think, for this this case. I mean, absolutely, who, who would spend that? So you get an invitation to a Ken Griffey party, so you get to go to this party with Ken Griffey Jr., I think. And they had a few one-of-ones. Mike Trout autoed one-of-one, a Carlton Fisk one-of-one patch auto. Then they had, a like, a box of 50 autos and then another box of 50 like numbered cards parallels and then another box of like 100 anyways there was a lot of stuff in it but $27,000 for a box are you kidding me get out of town I would never spend that buy a freaking nice card for 27 grand well and the, the disappointing part about this is that I went and looked at all the comments on this video, right? $27,000 for a Topps Transcendent box. You go down the comments and there's all these people that used to collect back in the day. That this is the first video they've watched getting back into collecting and they're like, "Oh, well I'm never buying new cards again. Look at how stupid the new cards are." blah 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 blah. 
and it didn't do anything good for the sport or for the hobby. In fact, that video hurt the hobby significantly because it just makes us look so pretentious. Are you kidding me? $27,000 on a piece of paper? That's what it is. It's a piece of paper. You printed somebody's face on it, and then he went and signed it with a pen. You got a bunch of those put into a box, and then you call it twenty-seven grand. Are you joking me? Of course, if I was one of those guys that this is my first video back in, I'd be ticked. I'd be like, no, I'm never, ever buying cards again. And that was really unfortunate, man. Yeah, you get to hang out with Ken Griffey. That's, that's awesome. That's the only cool thing. Hope I get a Cedric Mullins. Uh, I already gave you a Cedric. You, you should be good on Cedric by now. <laughs> I thought that Cedric was kind of funny to send to you because I was like, ah, this is one of the first autos I pulled. I think I've sent you some other stuff for Houston, but I was like, oh, I'll send him a Cedric Mullins. <laughs> I had two of them, so. That's exactly right. Hey, Austin Farm, you're talking the same thing, same thing about money that we have today. That's why I suggest you buy land or buy gold or precious metal, something. Own something tangible other than cash because paper is paper, nothing more than paper. You talk to Alan Greenspan, he's running this country into the ground. Did you guys ever see that movie, Out Cold? It's a snowboard movie that was based off of Casablanca. Oh, so good. It was like Zach Galifianakis' breakout movie. Hilarious. I'm glad you got a kick out of it, man. I hope you, you didn't think I was just being a jerk, but I thought it was funny. Because I remember you complaining about him. I mean, we all complain about him, but I was like, ah, this would be a good one. I don't know. I've got so many tops, five star cards. I spent four hundred dollars on a break, and I got twelve autos out of it. And I doubt I will ever get my money back. Now I did get a mini helmet in that break, which is another hundred and sixty dollar helmet I sold on eBay. So really, I'm only down two forty. Um, so not terrible. I was able to trade one of the Kikuchis for a Matt Williams autograph. Matt Williams. That's cool. Alan from The Hangover. Yes, Alan from The Hangover. And he's hilarious in that movie, Out Cold. If you haven't seen it, it's it's good. Snowboard movie. Kind of, you know, kind of cheap, like a B-list type movie, but, oh, it's funny. It's good. It's kind of like the uh, Broken Lizard films. Like, those are cheap kind of B-list films also, but they're so good. I don't know why they didn't aren't more popular. They should be. Coming in to ruin the chat. Thank you, Paige. Somebody else live right now? 27000 can buy me a good hunting property. Yeah, so here's the thing. The only reason I'm collecting, really, I mean, I think collecting's fun. It's cool. I love baseball cards, love football cards, love Pokemon. Love talking to you guys about it all. But what's the end game? I want to be able to sell my cards or give them to my kids at some point for money. I want to be able to have money in return. So... I hope that my cards can help me retire well. $27,000? Holy cow. That's retirement money, man. Why invest it into cards? It just seems like if you're going to spend $27,000, then you better buy an auto that you know you're going to get, right? Go buy a Ty Cobb cut auto, right? Or a real Ty Cobb on-card auto, you know? Like freaking back-in-the-day card. Buy a Mickey Mantle. You know, spend twenty seven grand and buy a PSA whatever Mickey Mantle that is in that price range. The price is going to go up on that, but to spend it on a box where you don't know what's inside? I mean, it's just like a crapshoot, a $27,000 crapshoot. Come on, that's stupid. Sorry, I can't believe I'm still complaining about this, but it just, it drove me nuts, and I couldn't believe that people were, you know, were sitting there complaining about this break, and... Well, obviously, I could believe it. I just couldn't believe that there's a product out there that actually costs that much and that somebody's willing to pay for it. Now, they did it as a, like a draft break, so you could draft a case, you could draft one card, two cards, draft whatever. I don't know how much a draft spot was in that break, but it had to be thousands. Like I said, the most I ever spent was $400, and that got me three spots in that break. I actually bought two and won a third, plus won the mini helmet, so... Uh, that was the most I ever spent on a break, and I got quite a bit out of it. If I were to turn around and sell all of the um, five-star autos that were graded, or get them graded and sell them, I'd probably be able to break even on it. I just don't think I'd make any. 
yeah, invest into stocks. I've invested in stocks. I did quite a bit of stock investing back in college. Um, but I don't have any stocks anymore. I got completely out of the stock market and I'm, well, not completely. I have mutual funds, um, but I don't follow individual stocks much anymore. However, I do have Coinbase and I do trade, um, crypto. I like trading crypto. There's a lot of upside and a lot of, there's a gamble in crypto, but that's why it's fun. You can put in very little money and potentially get quite a bit out. So crypto is fun. I do uh, quite a bit of day trading on crypto. Yeah, I quit looking usually around, uh, let's see, three in the afternoon. It's like just dies down. There's nobody on YouTube and then goes back up. Did I send that Tatis? I did. Yeah, the Tatis is in getting graded right now. I got upset about a bad pull on a $60 Clearly Authentic card. Yeah, see, that's... Once again, the risk that comes with opening a box that has one card inside. You know, what are you going to get? You're just, it's just a crapshoot. So, being able to know what you're getting for that amount of money is what I would prefer to do. If you're going to gamble, then, you know, gamble. You know it's going to be a gamble, though. So, don't really complain too much. It's kind of a gamble. Yes, it is. But this is, this is a little different. You know, this is a little bit different there are people that overwhelm all of us on youtube i'm sure that's why it's great there's 1.8 billion channels if you don't like what you're watching right here you can head on over to one of the other 1.8 billion and see if it's better content i'm guarantee you there's some better content than me on tonight <laughs> but i'm glad you guys uh decided to spend your evening with me how many spots left we have 19 spots left do a spot check real quick and refresh that and make sure that's true. I believe we're at 19. Yep. But that's all right. I'm not changing this break. I'm not taking it off. This thing's going to stay. And we are going to break it at some point. Once it fills, we break. Only like... 0.01% of those. I'm always surprised at how many more channels I find on YouTube. Every night I seem to find a new channel. And it, that's kind of the difficult part when people are like, oh, where were you? I don't see you around. Well, I'm trying to support everybody, but also my channel list is growing. So it's harder and harder to support everybody the bigger it gets. Um, and that's why you just don't stretch yourself too thin. I go in, say hi to the stream, spend a few minutes in there, you know, talk to a few people, see what they're breaking. If it's interesting, if not, move on to the next one. I mean, even if it is interesting, I might move on to the next one and, and uh, do the same thing. Um, and then I pop back into the ones that I thought were kind of fun or breaks that I wanted to see, but I try to stop around and say hi to people. Well, you can, Ethan, for just a measly sum of $16 plus four shipping. I'll bet you can make that on a street corner in the evening. You know I'd be stripping in the evenings. Just playing. Don't strip, dude. You should host a roundtable discussion about all these topics. That would be kind of fun. You know, I keep saying I'm going to get this stream yards up and get uh, like a, a stream with a bunch of people on it. I've seen that happen a few times. And it's just not, it just most of the time doesn't go well. So I have to find one or two people, right? And don't keep it over one or two and just have somebody come on um, and go through this stuff. Because it is just me talking to myself half the time, waiting for stuff to pop up on the chat that I can respond to. Uh, so, yeah, you got to come up with your own stuff. Mom won't let me. I hear that. Well, go out and make your own money. Maybe it is your own money. Your mom still won't let you. That'll happen. Can you not handle being made fun of, Paige? You should be able to get as good as you re or receive as good as you give. You can dish it. Yeah, that panini, the Panini Points was definitely disappointing. Definitely dis... Does Tops have a store like that? Probably, huh? The Mandalorian? 
Why does Tops have stuff for the Mandalorian? Are they selling boxes of... Holy cow, look at that. They have Star Wars The Mandalorian Tops Now. Cards from The Mandalorian. Wow, it looks like they have them by episode. I do a lot of nothing for three hours. Yeah, I basically do the same thing. I gotta, yeah, I gotta get somebody else on here. It's easier to riff off of somebody else, or you know, like I said, you just gotta work with the chat and what's there. And if there's not people that are very active in the chat, sometimes it's difficult to come up with stuff. And then sometimes the chat's going so fast that I can't keep up with it. So it just depends on the night. What's up, KB? How you doing, my man? Love having you in the house. Gonna need to crack into some more cards at some point. I'm gonna need to go get some uh, more Fairfield boxes. But uh, I can't just open cards all night. I'm not made of money. I'm looking around for cards that I can open. So I have more of those holiday boxes, 2018 and 2019, but I don't really wanna open more of those. So do you guys collect any sets, like complete sets? Because I've only collected, I think, one complete set. I got Tops Update this year, and I said, all right, I'm going to do the whole complete set on it because I think I had the most uh, cards. So I was kind of excited about that. So I think I have a complete set for that and maybe a few for Pokemon, but not much else. Like, I don't, I'm not really interested in the complete set. So my first live stream, I'll just walk the stage and we'll have three bottles of rum and vodka. Oh boy. I want to start out your live stream with seeing what you ate for lunch. I'm a set collector. Okay, so JDLS collects this collects sets. So do you collect the set to resell it at some point or do you just like having the whole set? A and B, what else do you I mean, do you uh you get all the parallel cards with a set that you're going to pull obviously not a whole set of parallels, but you're going to get some parallels and some insert cards as well. Do you collect the whole insert sets or the parallels or um, autos? I mean, how do you do it? You only collect certain players. So Austin does it as certain players, and Ricky does a few sets. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious as to what I should do as a collector because, you know, I, there's some sets you might want to collect, but some sets are so big that the value's not there in collecting it, and why don't you just buy the whole set when Topps puts it out later? You know, the whole set from Topps would be a lot easier. Obviously, you wouldn't get the parallels or inserts or anything like that. You're just getting all the base cards. But still, if, the, if that's all you're collecting is the base cards, why don't you just buy that? So if you don't do this break tonight, are you going to do these same boxes next weekend? Yeah, I'll just keep this on uh, the site until it fills up. So PC who you like, Elkham. That's what I do. So, I mean... You know, so there's two sides of me. Collecting, I, there's cards that I PC because I'm a collector, and I enjoy collecting those. Those are going to be all my Rockies cards, my Broncos cards, and my wow, Matt Williams cards, right? I do those because I like those teams. I enjoy the sport of baseball. I respect Matt Williams, um, like football. That's what I do those for. But the rookies, the Hall of Famers, the stars, I'm collecting those to resell at some point. I'm collecting those for investment value. So I... You know, I don't know if it's better to have a, a set, a base set set put together to try and resell or not. Uh, obviously, it, it wouldn't be if I'm going to be spending all the money on hobby boxes or retail product or whatever. I could just buy that whole base set complete. Uh, the good thing about buying those hobby boxes individually is that you do have the chances at autos and parallels, which you wouldn't get out of just base sets. I got so many commons and junk wax laying around. It drives me nuts. See, yeah, that's that's kind of the issue that I feel like I would come across by doing set collecting. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Not sure. The sets that I want to collect, though, if I really do want to get value in a set, then you'd want to collect, like, an insert set or... Um, something that's fairly rare. I went and looked at Topps Chrome Sapphire. Remember I said earlier on my stream that that was holding its value. Well, it's going down a little bit in value now. 
Stryker just added two boxes to his value series, and the two boxes were Bowman 2019 Bowman and 2019 Bowman Draft. And both of those are holding their value over any other, including Topps Chrome right now. So that'll probably go down as since this release is fairly new. Uh, over time, it'll go down a little bit, but Topps Chrome is still holding its value really well. Chronicles is holding its value. Um, so there's a lot of good products. How do you randomly pick? I don't randomly pick. Um, so when I'm collecting, I, I collect the Rockies and Broncos because I was raised in Colorado. I grew up watching both of them, my favorite teams. Matt Williams was a friend of the family, uh, used to be a relative, and uh, dad's stepsister's ex-husband's brother. So that's why I collect Matt Williams. I always liked him. He was a cool guy. And then uh, the other guys, how do I select them? I always do my research. So I talk to you guys in, on YouTube, which is what I watch a lot of breaks and talk to you guys on YouTube is where I get a ton of my information. So you guys told me what rookies were good this year, what products were good this year to get those rookies out of. Um, and so I just ask questions in chat a lot to try and find out and watch a lot of these videos. And that's where I found out what was valuable and who really has potential to be valuable. And then, you know, after uh, some time, common sense just kind of sets in and you start to look at cards and just go, okay, this is a base set of that person. You know, I've seen that in another set before. It could go for about this much, blah, blah, blah. So you kind of have an idea in your head after a while of, you know, what's going to be worth it. So you saw me pull that Fernando Tatis auto number to five, and I freaked out because, you know, I don't see that card very often or ever. Um, however, I've seen his base card tons of times, probably have 20 or 30 of them. Like to open packs and collect the sets to look at and pass on. Yeah, I mean, the, the sets are awesome. I, I like having a full set because it's, it's very cool. Uh, also try to collect inserts uh, and parallels if I can't. So in my tops uh update series this year i did the same thing i took my parallels and put them in the sleeve with the base so that you can see you know i have three cards in there maybe um usually just two but random comment but tomorrow we got the central texas filipino american christmas party <laughs> that is a mouthful right there the central texas filipino american christmas party hope there's single ladies my age there uh either way there'll be great food so you're Austin, you're Filipino, and are you looking for a Filipino spouse? Is that something that uh, your I'm sure your mom would like if she's Filipino? But uh, does it matter to you? Not saying it should or shouldn't. I, you know, I'm just curious. Donate the commons you don't want to commons for kids. That's a great idea, Big Harv. It's a great charity, um, and I should push that charity more on here. Uh, it, it is a great, great thing to do. Get kids back into collecting. So if you don't want your cards, give them or your base cards. You can donate those to uh, Commons for Kids. Great little charity that, that hooks kids up. So I basically what I'm looking for in in whatever I'm collecting for my uh, investment value are parallels, autos, patches, Hall of Famers, rookies. So I want of Hall of Famers and rookies. I want parallels, autos, and patches. That's what I'm looking for. And low number two, especially. I don't really care about anything over 100. I want cards that are lower than 100. And if I had my my way, if I was you know wealthy enough, then I would probably only collect cards that were numbered to 10, to 5, or to 1. Um, and really do short numbered on, on a lot of those cards. Still probably get bases of all the rookies when they come out. You know, try to get the base cards of them and stuff because you never know when the value is going to go up. If you have one base card of a rookie, then keep it around, you know, in good condition. Could go up in value. Never dated a white girl, Asian in general, and I'm a huge fan of Asian girls. There's none here in the Valley, so, well, Brazilian, they're kind of like Asian and uh, Hispanic. It's weird that they have a lot of Asian influence down there in Brazil, but they do. I need three cards to finish my 19 holiday set. Oh, that's very good, JD. LS. I, uh, I don't know where my 19 holiday set is as far as uh, a complete set or not. I should probably put it together in a binder and find out. I think that those would probably be the two sets I would be interested, or the sets every year that I'd be interested in, in collecting. Because collecting the holiday set is really cheap to do. You know, boxes are only 20 bucks a box, and you're getting, what, like 100 cards or something? You're getting quite, quite a few cards with those holiday boxes. Can't be 100, but you're getting a lot. 
Plus, you're getting either an autograph or a patch. So you have like a pretty good chance at a hit and a lot of cards for 20 bucks. So that's not bad. So I should probably collect that set every year, the holiday set, because uh, I think it's probably the coolest set from Tops every year. They have it's the one that's most anticipated for me. I mean, I think I like Chrome more, maybe Chrome Sapphire. I like the designs on both of those. But, uh, you know, when you're looking through a holiday set, you're always looking for that bush patch. You're always looking for an, an SP that's got some holiday theme to it. It's kind of cool. The holiday box isn't impressive, though. Well, Paige. You and I have different ideas of what impressive is. 100 cards per box. Yeah, so 200 in the set. 100 cards per box. That's pretty good. I mean, for 20 bucks? Dang. 20 cents a card. <laughs> There's other sets that are way more money than that. And still have the chance of pulling something that's got decent money to it. I think the last year with the Acuna in it, the Metallic Acuna, that was found. That was pretty good. Show high. Show hey. I don't know how you say it. Rip and get fire. Would love to. Reese Hoskins and Bryce Harper. Yeah, I like uh I like little Reese Hoskins. I'm not a huge fan of Bryce Harper though, I'll tell you that. I dig most Bowman except 27 and 8 uh, 2017 and 18 platinum. Yeah. I was okay with Bowman's Platinum this year because I pulled some good autos and good rookies out of it, but I wasn't impressed with 2019 overall. I mean, I just didn't think the cards looked all that cool. Bowman, Platinum, and they're, you know those are the retail boxes you can pick up in Walmart. So you can actually get your hands on them for like 40 bucks or something, but I don't know. just wasn't impressed. Oh, I'm sorry. Read my comments, darn it. I asked how you randomly pick the breaks is what I meant earlier. So, are you asking how do I randomly pick which breaks I buy into, or how do I randomly pick these boxes that I'm going to put into the break? A little clarification, since I didn't clarify enough earlier. Harper has my favorite till he left the Phillies, and right now it's Clint Frazier. Yeah, my favorite player right now is probably Nolan Arenado. I, well, it's not probably, it is. I think he's just so underrated, uh, which is unfortunate because I think he's one of the top five best players. I think he's one of the top three best players in baseball. Um, and I only put, like, Trout above him and maybe Bellinger. Maybe. Arenado's just, he's amazing. The dude's won a gold glove every single year he's been in the league. A silver slugger, one, or tw two silver sluggers, a platinum glove. He's going to win gold glove again this year, probably platinum glove. It's insane. The guy has not, yeah, he just hasn't lost since he's been in, personally. Team-wise, he's lost significantly. But. Went to my local card shop. Hey, what's up, AK Gyrator? Good to see you. Went to my local card shop about a month ago with a giant bag of extra non-sports cards. And gave it to the first little kid I saw with his mom. Oh, 2,000 cards or more. Dude, that's rad, man. I bet you that made that kid's day. I have boxes upon boxes, um, which I should should be doing that. I, in fact, I have a bunch of these uh, Pokemon cards that are just base cards. And I wanted to throw them out at our parade. We have like a little parade we do a few times a year in this town. And I think it would be cool to, to like hand them out at a parade. Um, baseball cards, football cards, and Pokemon. Yeah, Austin, that's just BS. They're just listening to trades. So it's true they're politely listening, but they're hanging up the phone and telling everybody to go pound sand. Uh, Arenado will not be traded for two more years. I guarantee you. Now, once his trade clause is up, I will bet you if they don't have a winning season in the next two years, they have two years to turn this around for Arenado. If they don't have a winning season in the next two years, he's out. So even if the Rockies wanted to trade Arenado, they don't have the right to trade him for three years because he has a three-year no-trade clause. So he's the one who gets to make the decision. So if he finds a team that he wants to go to, then he could probably say, yeah, I want to trade, but then both him and the Rockies are going to have to agree to it. 
So even if the Rockies wanted to get him out, they can't unless he agrees to it. So he's not he's not going anywhere. Arenado's staying. They're going to sign Trevor Story to a long-term contract. I got Blackman coming back. I guarantee you that. So we've got two huge relievers on the books that we need to clean up. Brian Shaw and what's-his-face. So both of those guys, we got to clean off the books because they're getting, what, $10 million plus a year. It's ridiculous. So what I would prefer is, you know, if the Rockies do get rid of Arenado, good for Arenado because Arenado doesn't get the dude that he deserves being in Colorado. If he goes to the Yankees, then he will easily be a Hall of Famer. If he goes to, sure, Houston, he'll be a Hall of Famer. He needs to go somewhere where he's going to get the credit that he deserves. Actually, probably not Houston, but maybe Los Angeles, go back to his home, or the Angels. You know, if he gets on the same team with Trout and freaking Rendon, are you kidding me? Whew, forget about it. And that's where he's from, Southern California. Be good fit. Good fit. <laughs> I will never take Ottavino back. I hate that guy, too. Look, I don't hate him. I liked Ottavito. He pitched well for us. I just never really liked his attitude. But uh, you guys also have DJ LeMayhew. And you're... You guys are stingy. Stop being so stingy, Austin. You just signed Cole, and you've got Ottavino, who's a great reliever. You may hate him, but he's a phenomenal reliever. He's one of the best sliders in the game. you got Clint Frazier. You've got Aaron Judge. Now you just signed Cole. Ugh. Nah, don't talk to me about it. Don't talk to me about it. The Yankees need more help. All right, let's let's, uh, let's stop appealing to get it sold out. People know that's why they're here. They're here to hang out, talk cards, get into breaks. So if they haven't got in at this point, they're not going to get in. It's all right. I don't want to push people. Ottavino, man, he had a great slider. Yeah, I, I just would be very, I would be floored if the Rockies actually traded him. Like I said, it's it, it's such a long shot that it's not going to happen. However, for Arenado's sake, at some point in his life, I would appreciate if he got uh, either a, some kind of a victory out of Colorado or got traded to a team where he's going to get his fair share. It's fair due. All right, guys, we're going to go for just another 15 minutes here till 8 o'clock Colorado time, and then uh, we'll be done. Uh, I can open something else while we're waiting. I do have to go get uh, some more packs for football. Um, so I could open one of these football boxes to show what it's going to look like. I did open an unparalleled, and I opened uh, one of the mega boxes for Donruss. So this time, I think I'm going to open the playoff, 2019 playoff box, which we have not opened before. And there were more of these, so I'm going to go buy another one just to make sure that we fill that spot back up that I took from the break. But uh, there were quite a few of them, which is good. If you were zero for the amount of times he'll strike out Babe Ruth, that was a stupid comment. But was he wrong? I've always wondered, man. I've wondered how the greats would would hold up against today's pitching and vice versa. I've always wondered that. If you watch any video from back in the early days of baseball, it's pretty hard to watch those guys and think, eh, I couldn't beat them. <laughs> eh, I felt like I could beat quite a few of them. Open a Ty Cobb. I probably should. My goodness, what is going on with this? But see, I don't need to open one because I already hit my... Well, I should probably open another one. Why not? What if I get a cool word and I that word ends up being like a uh, $150 word? Babe Ruth would be garbage today? See, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know if he could hit a slider from one of our pitchers today. And that's why I think Adavino, Adam Ottavino might be right about what he was saying. I mean... People don't like to hear that. They never like to hear when, you know, people don't respect the greats of the game from back in the day. But there's some truth to it. There's some truth to it. Yeah. I know, he wasn't. No, babe, people like to give Babe a lot of crap for how big he was. But, you know, you're right. Babe did 
honestly, uh, he was an athletic player and he actually, you know, had a, um, the ability to move Andy Dalton, Keenan Allen. He could run He's a good fielder. Trubisky thunder and lightning. That's going to be Demarcus Lawrence and Byron Jones. Thunder and Lightning card. Jarrett Stidham. Air Command. Jarrett Stidham. And then Josh Allen for the Jaguars. A different Josh. Either that's a different Josh Allen or that's uh, a misprint on the card. Josh Allen. Yeah, it's a different Josh Allen. Interesting. The game is much faster now. I'd be very interested to see. I, I just don't think it's a fair comparison. You know, the reality is games change. And humans change over time. Uh, and we have gotten fatter as a nation, and our athletes have gotten stronger and better. Uh, so we're kind of going to extremes on the opposite ends. Jim Kelly, there is a Cortland Sutton. Take that sucker. Larry Fitzgerald from playoff. We're going to have a little Michael Thomas. Jordan Howard. David Montgomery running back, y'all. Rookie wave. Will Fuller, the fifth, and Nikhil Harry. The game is... Heads rule the game now. Do you think that's a problem, Patreon Pirate? Because um, performance-enhancing drugs basically got all of the kids that were my age back into sports. We started watching baseball again because of the Mark McGuire-Sammy Sosa rivalry. A lot of us did. Not me specifically, but like kids in my neighborhood, a ton of them, never watched baseball before that rivalry. So, there's a Terrell Davis. Sweet. Take that. Uh, Boomer Esiason, Peyton Manning, it's like a throwback pack. Kurt Warner, holy cow, it is a throwback pack. Charles Woodson, like all old players. Then we're going to have Andrew Luck, stargazing. Good, thanks, give me a retired guy. They're all retired, <laughs> basically. Uh, Rodney Anderson, he's a rookie, finally a rookie in here, a couple rookies. Jalen Ferguson. Thanks, Chat Town. Everything has been good. I saw that you jumped in on my uh, stream. Was it either earlier today or uh, yesterday? Right at the end. So, sorry. Missed you. I used to be a ripped 155. Now I'm 210 since starting college. I was 200, I think, when I started college. And I got out at, at like 230, probably. And then I ballooned up to like 300 after I got divorced. And now I'm back down to just broke 260 so i'm in the 250s on my way down so i keep losing weight which is good and doing that every uh every week it feels like i'm just slowly chipping away at it and it's a much healthier way to lose weight than the way i lost it before i did p90x before and i lost 50 pounds in 90 days which was awesome except it's almost impossible to keep that pace up transitioning into a more healthy and sustainable workout routine is almost impossible but when i was full on like done with p90x i was yeah i was ripped i mean as ripped as i'll ever get Tariq cohen shaquem griffin it looks like this is probably going to be our auto yep auto is jordan scarlet rookie card who you guys are going to be happy that I opened this one for myself and I'm going to go buy a new one. You don't get stuck with a Jordan Scarlet rookie card. I don't know if it's getting stuck with. I just don't know this guy. Don't know him at all. Not on any fantasy radars for sure that I've heard about. All right, Jordan Scarlet, what are you? A wide receiver, I'm assuming? Running back, y'all. That's even worse. Running backs, short, short career. There's going to be a Joe Mixon and A.J. Green. Vaughn Miller, stargazing. Love me some Vaughn Miller. 
I had pretty big guns. Now I've got a gut. Yeah, oh boy. I got a gut too. It'll happen. Yeah, P90X was awesome. I mean, it's legit. Like, it will get you ripped in 90 days if you stick to it. It will. But it is a lot of work. And if you're not willing to put in the work, then don't even freaking start. Because you'll just get disappointed. Drew Brees and Zach Ertz. Another Drew Brees here. This is Air Command from Playoff. Ezekiel Elliott. Have we gotten any numbered cards yet? I don't remember seeing any numbered cards. Anthony Johnson. Be cool to get something numbered. I don't know, Jack, about football. Just stick around, man. I'll teach you as much as I know, which will be uh, not much. But at least you'll have some knowledge. I mean, I know enough about football to be... Oh, sweet. I just saw Devil, Devin Singletary. Brett Favre, David Johnson, and Devin Singletary. This is going to be our patch. Yeah, baby. Nice. I wish it was a patch auto. Sheboygan. I like that one. Von Miller went to Texas A&M. I grew up around the campus. Yeah. Von Miller. I went to a bar in Denver. And a bunch of Von Miller's acquaintances, friends from childhood, went into that bar two weeks later, slit five people's throats, and burned the place to the ground. I was shocked. And then to find out that Von Miller knows him, we were even more shocked. He wasn't involved, obviously, but... There, we're going to have a J.J. Watt. By the way, have you guys seen Rob Gronkowski? Because he's not as skinny as he was a few months ago. Definitely not. He's putting weight back on, like muscle weight, like he's been hitting the gym. I'm calling a comeback, man. I'm calling a, a New England Patriots comeback. Patriots are the devil. I sure as heck hope they don't, but, you know, if they're anywhere close on the cusp of uh, really doing some damage in the playoffs, I got money. It says they're going to try and get him back. I don't know when they when the deadline is for that. I wonder if they, like, when's the last... I guess he's a free agent completely, isn't he? David Johnson, Kyler Murray. Or maybe not. Maybe he was just retired from them and they could bring him back. Darwin Thompson. It's the CBD. <laughs> yes, the, the uh, pesky old CBD. I hope. I wonder. I, I think we're talking about the same thing. Stephen Gilmore, Leonard Fournette. There's a good runner, real good runner. We're gonna have Tyler Lockett, Kenny Galladay, which is a great wide receiver this year, and right behind him a Christian McCaffrey. Love it base card love me some christian mccaffrey there's gonna be a dak prescott stargazing tj hawkinson pulled his patch the other day Jarrett stidham all right last pack magic can only hope for something good in here and then we'll open a ty cobb and call it a night how about that murray is a backstabber kyler murray yeah i like the singletary I'll take a singletary any day of the week this year, Singletary got kind of lucky because Frank Gore got injured. Singletary was able to take the load of the running and just ran with fire the first couple weeks. So now he, Frank Gore's back, so they're sharing the load again. Alvin Kamara, Nelson Al Ag Agalor, Agalor, James uh, Jameis Winston. Josh Allen, defensive end for the Jaguars. Another Josh Allen of defensive end. It's not the Josh Allen I want. We want the Josh Allen from the Bills. So I guess it's one auto or patch. Oh, no. We got... Did we get a patch? Yeah, we did. Where is it? Where did I set that? Oh, there it is. Yeah. All right. So these are going to be our quote-unquote hit pile. These are our two hits. It's 
We got a Jordan Scarlet. Can only hope he turns out to be Legitsky. And a Devin Singletary. This one I really like. Really like Devin Singletary. Um, good running back to be picking up right now, especially in fantasy leagues, because he's still fairly cheap, uh, but he's just putting up great points. So. How many hits are in playoff? Yeah, you have just those two uh, that you're guaranteed. So you're guaranteed one auto and one uh, patch. But I don't know if I even saw a parallel in here. I'm trying to see if I can find one of these uh, numbered. I don't think any of them are numbered. Which is kind of unfortunate. So yeah, those are the only two you're guaranteed out of it. No. No, for playoff. Just get one autograph and one memorabilia card. But these aren't terribly expensive, these playoff boxes. Um, so yeah. I wish they would give you odds from Panini. I really wish they would would do odds because we don't know the print runs from panini without odds you can figure the print runs if you have odds but you can't without yeah the hobby box has more yeah this was a uh, not one of the hobby boxes this is one of those uh retail boxes i think from walmart so it's just one and one but uh let's check out a tie cob we got three tie cob boxes left we're gonna open one in the break We'll see what we get for a word here. Probably going to be sold, whatever this one is. Well, I know it'll be sold. Because I already have two. Well, it may not be. It could replace the other one I have. I've got one word is inexcusable. That one I'm keeping. The other one is few. So, you know, if I get a better word than few, which is a pretty good chance. All right, last box for tonight. And then I've opened what? What have I opened tonight? Probably $300 in product. So, y'all better be happy. Thought this was hobby. No, not that one. The only hobby box I have in that football break is this uh, certified, 2019 certified. This is the hobby box for that break. Two autographs, two memorabilia cards. Say what you want to say. Say what you want to say. I like say. That's a better word than few. Say. Inexcusable. I have it right next to my inexcusable card. So one of these will get sold online, either few or say, probably few. I like say a little bit better, probably. That's going to be the Ty Cobb card for tonight, for this week. Down to two left. Put those in breaks, I'm sure. And I will end up selling this card, uh, or the few, one of the two. Somebody will get a good deal on that, because I probably will not sell it for the 50, obviously. Who used to make playoff football? Don't remember. I don't know. Thanks, John's Arcade. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's my third Ty Cobb relic. Uh, so I'll sell one. I only want two relics, really, of his. I mean, I want more relics, obviously. But from this set, you know, I don't want any more. Few say inexcusable. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't even realize I could make a sentence with it. Few say inexcusable. I like that. I didn't even realize. Is that his handwriting? Yes, Jason Madison it is. So what they do is this is from the Ty Cobb estate. So Ty Cobb had a bunch of letters that he wrote. And they cut words out of the letters put them into these relics so he actually wrote all of this i mean that's a cool one i like the word say few say inexcusable it's the sentence we can make here few 
say inexcusable. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, the one you got on... Or wait, I don't know what the word was. I got completely distracted by what you got behind it. I can't remember what the word was. Yeah, go for hobby, Austin. I, You know, as much as I like the retail, it's fun, but it's just... It's too cheap, and the odds are just not as good. You're going to get guaranteed something out of a hobby, and I've just had better success with them. Hobbies and jumbos. That's what I would do. If you could get the word I'm, you could make a few say I'm inexcusable, yes. Yeah, no problem, Jason. Yeah, there's a there's uh, probably $600 per case is what these are going for now which comes out to about 60 bucks per card. Um, but some of them are selling online for over 100 Like, Inexcusable would probably sell for over 100 And these two would probably sell for, like, 20 to 30 somewhere in there. That's how big the price difference is, depending on what word you get. So, um, yeah. Yeah, John sent that redemption in. What word did you get? John. Because that proof is sweet. Printing proof. I mean, take that any day of the week. I heard there's lots of them that say inexcusable, phony, few say inexcusable. <laughs> phony, few say inexcusable. Yeah. Phony. We did have, we pulled, somebody's word was phony. Either that was John's or somebody pulled phony. It's inexcusable for it to sell under 600. I was kind of surprised. I mean, 10 cards for 600, 60 bucks a card. I was able to get it quite a bit cheaper, so I was able to pick them up for like 44 a card, I think. He cut me a little bit of a deal. Um, he was selling them for more than that, so it wasn't much of it. I think I got a three or four dollar per card discount three three dollar per card discount so yeah it saved me 30 bucks off the box which is pretty good yeah i'd love to see that john's he's gonna have to go live when john goes live and shows that because it's so cool so joey got the one that said phony yeah that's cool so what else did we get phony say few inexcusable Excusable. We got to find out what John's was. I wonder what all ten were now. I wonder if it was like a full sentence that they cut it out of in sequential order. That'd be kind of interesting, or a couple of sentences. I doubt it though. But you can tell they're kind of scraping to get down to words like few and say. It's like, you know, you kind of want to have a longer word than that. In fact, inexcusable is the first one I pulled, so I thought they were all going to be kind of like that. But I was, I was wrong. Get him talking about a cop salad and you're halfway to a cut auto. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That'd be awesome. Wish he would use texting talk like thank you, T-Y, instead of thank you. Um, so the, the hits are a little bit different, Jason. So, um... I would say that a cut auto is probably the best, yeah. But I'll show you what the... I did something with the box, the Ty Cobb box. Well, I don't remember what the odds were. They have precious metal cards, which are silver, gold, and platinum. You get like a gram of that metal on the card. So it would be just a normal card like this. But in the corner, right here, in that corner, you would have one of those precious metals. Um, and I think those are all to like 30, you know, out of 30, out of 25, something like that. Then there was a printing proof, and that's all the cards in the set. Uh, I think there was 15 of those printing proofs. And John got one of those. Uh, but then you can get cut autos, which I think are one of 15 or one of 10, maybe, out of 10, maybe. Maybe. Uh, so they had cut autos and they also had um, other one of ones they said which weren't cut autos specifically so anyways I ran the numbers and I figured that the print runs weren't that big which they weren't so they're you know they're probably gonna hold their value 
Mickey Mouse probably my best chance. <laughs> Never know. Buy into. Look, that's why I try to throw in some kind of a product that's decently high end to most breaks. Like that Topps Gold label, it's a decently high end product. Um, because I want people to have a shot at cards like that, you know, that you couldn't normally have an opportunity at. Or even the Ty Cobb relics. That's why I throw the Ty Cobbs into those breaks. Because I want you guys to have a shot at a cool card that. You know, you don't want to spend 50 bucks on. So you spend 16 in a break and you might get a Ty Cobb card out of it. So why not? It gives you guys a chance at least. And that's what I would like. You know, I can't spend money to buy a lot of these cards straight up. So just having a chance. Uh, plus a break is super fun. So Yes, I believe it's a one-time production. Yeah. So they don't, they're not ever going to do another print run on these. So hold on to them. Ty Cobbs are the cards you want to hold. And I didn't even get a hit out of the case I bought. Dang it. Now I need to go buy a case, another case, so I can get I can get the case at this time. I'm glad you got it, though, John. That was such a cool case hit. I can't wait to see it, man. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. We're coming to the end. Let me do a spot check on our break. See how close we are. still have 19 spots so i will push this on social media over the next few days and i will uh push it back on here as well as soon as i get on uh probably this weekend to game i'll talk about it more um and if we fill it by sunday then we'll go on sunday and ripper so as soon as we can break that thing i'm the sooner the better um but yeah i feel like i'm in a holding phase right now i'm waiting for john's redemption to come in I'm waiting for a lot of other redemptions to come in, and I'm waiting for all my PSA cards to come in. I'm in a waiting period, and as soon as those come in, we're going to have content for days. That PSA submissions are so much fun to open live. Especially when I don't know what's in it. You're like, is it going to be a 9? Is it going to be a 10? Oh. Yeah, it's fun to hang out with you too, Gyrator, man. I, yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I tried to open some cards tonight, but even if I uh, couldn't get to all of them. Setting aside all the... 2013 triple plays i come across austin farmer don't work triple plays huh nice all right guys we will uh catch y'all later it's been fun hanging out with you have a good night catch you tomorrow or sunday peace